Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. You've learned about line switch, timer, and counter color codes. How about a race to the finish to complete your introduction to color codes? Let's go. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, your introduction to color codes, lesson nine, skills check two, activity sheet, page one is required, page two is optional and a color codes chart. In today's lesson, you will strengthen your understanding of line switch and U-turn color codes, race with the timer on 30 seconds color code, and use the enable point counter, point plus one, and point minus one color codes to complete a puzzle. Get ready to have a little fun with the color codes you have learned. Find start one on page one of the activity sheets. You'll be racing against the 30 second timer to get to the finish. The first space for a color code has four blocks. This space is for the timer on code, which is red, black, blue, green. I'll fill in the timer on code. You only need to include this code once to turn on the 30 second timer. Can you fill in the timer on color code in the first code block after start one? Continuing on the line, there is a three block space for another color code to set the speed of your bot. I'll add a turbo code, which is blue, green, blue. You can choose a different speed code from the color codes chart. Just remember, your bot has only 30 seconds to get to the finish. You will set the speed of the bot two more times on the next two line segments. Can you draw the speed code of your choice in the second code block on the first line segment? The third color code space on the first line segment is for a line switch code. What direction will your bot need to go to get to the next line segment? The bot will need to go right, so I'll fill in a line switch right code. Can you fill in the line switch right color code in the third space on the first line? Follow along the path your bot will go and notice the next two line segments, two and three, have three spaces for color codes. The space with two blocks at the end of each line segment is for a U-turn code. On your color codes chart, find the U-turn line end code and fill it in. The next space is for a speed code of your choice. Refer to your color codes chart and choose which speed you want your bot to go. The third space is for a line switch code. What direction will your bot need to go to proceed to the next line? Find the line switch code on the color codes chart and fill it in on your activity sheet. Can you fill in the U-turn codes on lines two and three? Then complete the speed codes you would like. Finally, draw in the line switch codes that will help your bot move through the maze toward the finish. Line four only has a space for a line switch code. Line five has a space for a U-turn code at the line end and a line switch color code. The last segment, six, has a U-turn at one end and a win-exit play again near the finish. Can you complete the U-turn codes, the line switch codes, and the win-exit code to complete your maze? Now that your maze is complete, it's time to see if your programming will beat the 30-second timer. Place your bot on start and observe the path it follows. Run your bot at least three times to account for the random direction choices your bot makes when it switches lines. See how far your bot gets in 30 seconds. Did it get to the finish? 
Are there any adjustments you can make so your bot gets to the finish before 30 seconds are up? Place your bot on start and observe the path it follows. Make adjustments to the color codes if necessary and run your bot again. Well done. Let's make sure you've completed the activity. Did you complete the timer on speed, line switch, and U-turn color codes on page one of the activity sheets? Did your bot get to the finish in less than 30 seconds? Did you debug your code? Does your work show how you understand how these color codes function? If you're looking for another challenge, keep watching for instructions on completing page two of the activity sheets. You've learned about the point counter, point plus one, point minus one color codes in a previous lesson. Look at the second page of your activity sheets to find another counter challenge. Refer to your color codes chart and add the point counter color code in the first color code space of the mains. Take a minute to plan the order of the point plus one and point minus one codes so that the last code subtracts the final point from the total and you have zero points left. Remember, you start with five points and can't ever have more than five points and your bot will turn off when it gets to zero points. Can you fill in the point counter code? Then add the planned point plus one and point minus one codes and run your bot. Did your Ozobot get to the end of the maze? Debug and run your bot again if needed. Have fun and see you again soon.